today we're going to be building, um, we're going to be talking about how to break down models in order to multiply. So what I want you to do is take a peek at the model that they have up here. It's 4 times 7. Now, what's the easiest way for you to figure out 4 times 7? What's the easiest way? Use our songs. Use your songs, okay? So if we were going to use songs, what's one of the songs that we would use? Sevens, all right? All right, there we go. So once you get there, we do 28. If we didn't do the sevens, what else could we do? Four. Fours. Oh my God. Wow, it's around. Old McDonald. Counts by fours. Four, eight, twelve, sixteen. Old McDonald counts by fours. Four, eight, twelve, sixteen. Put the 20 here and 24 there. 28, 32. Do we care anymore after that? No. no, once we get to the seven. So it's still 28. It doesn't matter which song you use. If you don't need a song, you could just go, oh, 4 times 7 equals 28. 28. Those of you who have memorized your facts, that's where you are. But sometimes you're going to have to be able to recognize a model. Okay? So here's a model of how many blocks did I go down? One. Okay, so my first number is, how many did it go over? Ah, good guess, Cam. So guess what that's kind of an array of? What multiplication problem? Four times seven. There you go, my brilliant children. It would be four times seven. But there are times that you're going to have to be able to look at this and be able to break this into chunks. Okay, they're going to ask you to make a visual. So what you want to do is you want to look at one of the numbers. I usually take the bigger number and I'm going to break that into smaller chunks. If I'm going to break seven yeah, into smaller chunks, what would be a way that I could break seven up? What could I break it into? Um, two and five. Okay, I could break it into two and five and that's honestly my favorite way because I rock my twos and I rock my fives in multiplication. How else could I break up seven? I could break it up as six and one. Six and one. Ah, my pen's today. Uh, Calvin? Three and four. Three and four. Okay. We've got our options. Because the commutative property, one, two, three, we're good. So um, which one am I going to choose, do you think? What? I'm going to do the twos and the fives. So what you do, this is four times seven, but I can break this into four times two. What's four times two? Eight. Let's count, see if she's right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Magical, she is right. So now I've got my model that shows me four times two. Do you see that? Four times two is? Eight. Now let's look at the rest of that model. Should I change to make it more obvious? This is four times what? What's this blue? Four times how many? Five. Five. And what's four times five? Twenty. Let's see if you're right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Guess what I have to do? Now that I broke apart that seven, guess what I have to do with these two numbers in order to find the answer? Look, I have this chunk, and I have this chunk, and now I need to take the two chunks and add them together. I need to glue them back together. I broke it. I broke my pen. I broke it, and now I need to put it back. And if I add 20 plus 8, I get... 28. Wow, magical. So whether I sing the 4 song, or I sing the 7 song, or I memorize it, or I break it into smaller chunks, I get the same answer. Make sense? Yes. I'm going to have you guys break a problem into chunks on your whiteboard. You ready? Yeah. Now instead of making squares, you don't have the cute grids, so maybe what you'll do is you'll make the X's instead. Are you ready to try one? Oh, it's over here now. I'm going to have you make an array of three times eight. Okay? 
Go ahead and make your array, break it apart into chunks. You want to make your model three times eight. Make your model of that. Why are you guys not making the squares and the grids? How come you can't do that and I do that up here? I got the paper, okay? It is going to take you all day long to make that thing. Don't be doing that. So we've got our three, and then how many do we go across? Eight. Eight. Let's count it out. One, One two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Did you guys do that? Yeah. yeah. You've got your three times eight. You've got your array. While they're doing it, I'll do it. Those of you who got your pretty three times eight array, talk to your neighbor about how you can break up eight. What are the different ways you can break eight up? All right. I think everybody's there. All right. What can we break eight up into? Give me some. One and seven. What else can we break it into, Lexi? Two. Two and what? Two What can you break eight into? Six. Two and six. What are we trying to get these numbers? What do the, all these numbers have in common? Uh, Destiny. What's the next one? That they, equal they equal eight. So which one were you mouthing to me? Which one do you want to do? What comes next? You were mouthing it. Trinity. Three and five. Three and five. Four and four. Four and four. Do we get them all? Yeah. yeah. Does it matter how I break eight apart? How am I going to pick which one to break apart? How am I going to pick which I do? Your I'm going to pick the one that I'm best at. I don't really rock my sevens. I'm not picking my sevens. I'm not going to pick one and seven. I am pretty good at my fours. I am pretty good at my fours. Five Fives and threes, I'm really good at those two. Really, I could pick any of these as long as I don't pick that one. Um, what do you guys want me to pick? Six. Sixes, Six it is. I heard Camden. Camden's my new favorite. All right. So if I'm going to pick twos and sixes, I look at the model, I look at the array, and how do I break this up? Race. Uh, there's two rows. There's two rows. On the other side, uh, and there, the other side. Okay. Well, can I finish this set first, so I don't have to change my color? What do I do with these twos? What should I do with them to make it obvious, Bryce? Um, you have to go down three rows. Columns and then two rows. There we go. So now I've got three times two. Oh, what is three times two? Tricky, tricky, tricky. Six. Got the sisters helping each other out today. All right, now let's go to the other one. I've got three times two here. Now what am I going to do for the rest of the model? What am I going to do for the rest of the model? What am I going to do for the rest? What multiplication problem does that one show? Three times six. And what is three times six? Eighteen. Some of us just have that memorized. If you don't have that memorized... If you don't have that memorized, what could you do? Six, twelve, eighteen, twenty-two, twenty-four. I didn't care about twenty-four. Um, what else could you do? Didn't care about twenty-one either. Either way, it's eighteen. Now, now that I broke apart my model. What do I have to do? Now that I broke it into smaller chunks, what do I have to do? It. Glue it back together. I got to add it up. Six plus 18. Six plus 18. Write it on your whiteboard, show it to me. If you're up, you are correct. Six plus 18 is? 24. 24. Um, it's been a while since we've added. Where do I put my six? Underneath the one or the eight? 
The eight, because the six goes in the ones place. Remember that? Yeah. Now are you ready to try one all on your own? Yeah. Okay. Do we rem remember the array? Do we remember that? All right. Go ahead. You're going to break apart. Okay, let's look up here. This is the last one. What are some ways? What are some ways that I can break up nine? Tell me what I can do, Connor. Six, um, six and three. Six and three. Uh, Calvin. Five and four. Five and four. Uh, one and eight. One and eight. Sorry for forgetting your name there. So it's like, hey, kid, kid in the pink. Two and seven. Two and seven. I've got enough ways. But you have to choose one of these ways. You have to choose one of these ways to break up the number nine. Guess which one I'm going to choose? Guess which one? I'm doing my fives and fours. I rock my fives, I rock my fours. So first, I'm going to go across five. So I'm going to go down the four and go one, two, three, four. Notice that I have a complete rectangle. Did I leave out any of my little x's? No. This shows the math problem 4 times 5. What is 4 times 5? 20. 20. Look how I show my math. It's 20. Okay? It goes 4 times 9. I broke that 9 into 4 times 5. And then what am I going to add to 4 times 5? 4 times Four. Let's box four times four. What is four times four? Six, 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 four, eight, twelve. Sixteen. All right. So you see how I broke my nine up? Four times five, you told me, was? Four times four was? Sixteen. What do I do with these two numbers now that I broke them apart? Add them, add them up. When I add 20 and 16, I get? Boys and girls, look at this model. Look at this model. I've got big old chunked rectangles, right? I showed my math on the squares. I glued it back together, and I got an answer. Can you just do this? No, I know. Craziness stuff happens. Make sure you're getting rectangles. Okay, you're breaking that nine into two chunks. In your rotation, when you do a QR, I'm going to give you a paper that has numbers like this. You're going to use your graph paper in order to break it apart and then glue it back together. Make sense? All right, good job.